Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hero Techies and this is our React.js material UI tutorial and this is the second video. So part of this video, I am going to create application menu bar with the complete routing concept. Okay. Now let me go to my application. We can start our implementation one by one. Here first we can create one component. So it is just a JS file only. We can provide the name is app header. Using stateless functional component, we can define our component. And next, I am going to install one package for the routing. npm install React Router DOM. Okay. So it will take some time. So the installation gets completed. And as I am implementing the menu, we have to include some icons. For including material UI icon, we have to install the package separately. So we have to execute this command. Okay, this will take some time. Also, we have to include this style in our index.html file. Okay, the installation completed. Now let me include the reference file here. So in this index, so in this header section, we can include it. Okay. So let me save this one. So since we completed our installation, we can run this application. Okay, our application is running. So this farm design we have implemented based on my last video. So everything available in our app component only. Okay. So first what I'm going to do, let me move everything into the new component. So let me create one more new component here. So we can provide the name is form page. Again, we can use this stateless functional component. So next, whatever content available in our app.js, we can move to our form page. Okay. So let me save this one. And meanwhile, in our app.js, so we are going to implement the routing also. So let me include this browser router. Okay. So inside that we can have our routes. Then inside the routes, we can define our route one by one for the individual page. So here we have the properties path. So first one is the default. And here the element is so the default one is home component so since we don't have the home component let me create it so basically it's not going to take much time okay that's enough now let me include it here so similarly we can include the path is home and the other one is form. So there we can include our form page. Okay, the routing is completed. Okay. Some errors. We have to do some import. So let me cut from here and we can include in our form page okay the error got resolved so now in our app.js so inside the browser router i am going to call our app header also so let me save this one so here i am going to provide one h2 tag We can see the output. Okay, basically this text coming from our app header. Okay, so now let me start the implementation of our app header. So here first we can remove this h2 tag. So in this top of that we can import this app bar. Then 
the component name is app bar okay and inside the app bar we can include the toolbar so that also belongs to our material UI okay so let me save this one so now we are able to see the menu section right so the next thing is we can include one has to tag MUI tutorial okay okay see now and before that we can include one icon so icon button that also belongs to our material UI and here we have to provide what kind of icon we are going to use okay so I am going to use menu icon so basically it is belongs to material UI icon so that we have to import it manually import from material UI icons material okay and it is specific for the menu only and then this menu icon okay we are getting error okay it should be caps okay now the error got resolved see the output now see we have this menu icon so and we can provide the color also for that we have on property color let me provide inherit see now the white color is coming so similarly we have some different color option also if you provide primary it is coming as the blue color so we are unable to see and the secondary so it's a kind of pink color so if you want in this green color you can include as the success see actually our menu header also in the blue color so that's what we are unable to see much difference so anyway let me provide us the inherit we can have this as the white color only and next we can include some of the menus so for that we can use the button control it's imported and the color we can choose the same inherit so the first menu name is home okay so let me see okay it is coming like this so actually I want to move this into right side so I'm going to include one due tag and also before that let me include one box control and here we can use the prob sx and let me set the value is flux cross 1 see now it is moved to right side okay so we can include two more menus the second one let me provide contact and third one is farm okay now so now our menu is somewhat fine and similarly uh, we can include some icons like a uh, user profile and uh, some notification related things so that we can include in this right side so after this buttons for including any icon we have to use this icon button first it's already imported so inside that we have to provide what kind of icon we are going to use okay so first already we have included this menu icon so so this icon I am going to include for the user profile so the icon name is account circle so first let me import it here let me duplicate this one and the icon name is account circle so that is belongs to the account circle only so next we can include it here so let me format this one see the response now okay and again same so here also we have to include this color
okay and next I'm going to include two more icons uh, for showing kind of notification so let me create two items okay one is showing for the pure notification and another one is for the kind of mail alert for the mail icon which belongs to this mail and icon so similarly for the notification notifications notifications icon okay and here also we can change these items first one is mail icon similarly the second one is notifications icon see the response now the notification and a mail and also your user profile and the next thing is for the notifications so if you have some notifications we have to show the count top of that similarly if you have some mails it's not opened we have to show the count so for that we can use the control name is badge okay first we can include badge for this notification badge that also belongs to our uh, MUA material only so next we can move this notification inside and here badge content so let me provide some values okay 10 so we can save this one see now we are able to see the count is 10 so let me provide the color also error so then only it is coming in the red color see now so if I am providing 7 so it will change so in this real time scenario once the user gets logged in so we are supposed to open our home page there we have this menu so through the services we can get the information for any notification or mail notification kind of things so similarly that we can include for our mail also so let me copy this one and include it like this fine okay okay we successfully implemented one perfect menu and the next thing is we have to implement the navigation already we have defined our route so since we have the button so in this on click event we have one function so through the function we can do the navigation for the better approach we can always go with an link control that is provided by react router dom so let me go to our header page once again so in this app header first let me command this one button so instead of that I am going to use this link control so this link control is available in the material UI and also the react router DOM so I am going to use this one okay so if you check the top of that it is imported from the react router DOM so in case if you are using both the controls you have to create the alias name otherwise it will create the conflict issue so the uh, name is home only and two so here we have to provide our path okay so see the output possibly we will have some design issue that's it so it is coming like this so we can write one common class so in this index.cs file color white so if you have some better approach you have to go with your own way text decoration none it is basically remove the underline font says let me provide 24 pixel see now it will almost match okay it is somewhat bigger so let me provide 20 
see I am in the default page so when I am clicking this home see the URL got changed so in this home page I am having some content okay I am just having one H1 tag only so let me include one H2 tag also okay the material UA text is coming the first text is not coming for the time being let me include one style maybe I will fix in the next video you can provide 5 percentage okay see now both the text are coming so similarly we can change the other buttons also so again in our app header so let me include two more link buttons so since we don't have a common for this contact we can use the same home component only for the form we can use this one okay So let me remove other items or else we can command it. So let me save this one. See now some alignment missing. So what we can do. So instead of the due we can use stack. And here we can include the spacing. Also the direction we have to provide us row. see the response now okay it is somewhat fine so if I'm clicking this form control it is navigating to form and if I'm clicking this home it is navigated to our home page and the default one also home only okay okay it's almost working fine and one issue I found in my form page having one design issue so one of the control some area is hidden inside our menu so that actually I will fix in my next video so maybe I will include in my source code so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching